Okay, you guys have been asking and I'm going to give you the answer. So welcome back and I haven't been doing this in a while. I haven't sat down and just designed something and recorded at the same time in a long time because I feel like you guys kind of get it, but there's some things here that a lot of people need clarity on. So I'm gonna show you this. And the one thing that you guys really talked to me about I really have just been asking me and sending me DMs about is that one video that I did on type. And what I did with type was I manipulated it with the rectangle tool and the shape builder tool. And a lot of people didn't understand how I did that. And I really want you guys to kind of get this one because that's really important. That kind of little technique that I did then is really important. And it's gonna help you out going forward, especially when you're trying to use the shape builder tool to do different types of things. And that technique is so popular, like it's been used like a whole bunch of times. Like you guys can low key find that anywhere right now and just kind of like see that they use the shape builder tool to actually do that. But I wanna go ahead and open up Illustrator, which is kind of already opened. And I wanna show you guys exactly what I did. So what I need to do first is bring up some rulers. So I'm gonna hit Command R and I'm just gonna bring some rulers in. So I'm gonna put this on like the half mark of every zero and two, which would just be like one. And we're just gonna bring up another layer real quick. So I'm gonna bring up a layer and I'm just gonna type in the word vibes. We wanna make sure that it fits inside of the actual canvas. Now this canvas here, as you guys can see, is a 14 by 17. So this goes down to 17, as you can see right here. So you guys, there's a lot of people asking like, how do you set up a canvas? like? What canvas size are you using? Well, this is an artboard, but what artboard size are you guys using to actually make t-shirts and stuff like that? A 14 by 17, 14 by 18, even a 14 by 20 is good enough for any type of shirt. There would be no need for you to scale up because it's in a good size and you can scale down if you need it for like children's sizes and stuff like that. So we have the word vibes typed out and we're gonna go ahead and change the actual typeface to actually fit something. So I don't really like this one. This is uh, Myrit Pro. Let's find maybe, I think Impact was kind of cool. Let's just use Impact. I feel like Impact is kind of like a good t-shirt font for like this kind of vibe, you know? So we're gonna go ahead and just fix this out just a little bit, fix the kerning, make sure that it all fits inside of this proportions that we got going on. Okay, great, so now that we got this, I'm gonna go ahead and hit Command C, and I'm gonna lock this layer down. Then on a new layer, I'm just gonna go ahead and hit Command F, and basically what that did was it copy and paste, all right? So I have that right there. I turned off layer two, but we're gonna mess with that a little bit later on. Now, what we wanna do here, this is the first mistake that a lot of people make, is they don't turn this into an outline. So hold Control, click, or right click or whatnot, come down here to where it says Create Outlines, and click on that. What that did was that turned the actual type into a shape, all right? Now what we wanna do is lock this layer down. So I'm gonna lock this layer down, and then I'm gonna come over here and create another layer real quick and this is gonna be the rectangles that I was telling you guys about so I'm gonna start this rectangle from like six all right it's gonna be like maybe like a quarter of an inch all right so we'll put this like right here a quarter of an inch like this all right now what I want to do is I'm gonna hold down alter option I'm just gonna move down like an inch for each side right so something like this okay so we have these three right here and this looks pretty good right what we want to do is open up layer three again and select layer four as well. Now what I want to do is I want to go into the shape builder tool real quick, click on that, or you can hit shift M and I just want to zoom in. All right. So if you guys can see when you click on the shape builder tool, you get this arrow with a plus sign. All right. And that's basically just saying adding, but if you hold down alter option, it's going to turn that plus sign into a minus sign where you can take away. And with that being said, you can take away some of these lines. So as I'm clicking around on this V, it's deleting out everything that I don't need. Now, if I was to delete this, this is what we get. And okay, that looks pretty good, right? But instead of keeping like this design, why don't we just open up another artboard real quick and just move into the design that we kind of like cut out. Like we don't want to waste this design. This can be a second design for something else. And that's pretty much it, you guys. So I hope you guys learned a lot with this one. It looks pretty good. So, and I know last time I did that, it was kind of hard for you guys to understand because I was zooming past it. But those old videos, you got to understand, like I was really young in YouTube. Well, not really, but 
I had just started my YouTube channel and I was cutting really close. So anytime I did something and something didn't make sense to you guys, I'm sorry about that, you know, but this should clear it up. This is not a new update to Adobe Illustrator. They've been doing this since CS3, I think. I think it was like, I think that's when they brought in the Shape Builder tool, but they've been doing this for a while and, you know, nothing about it has changed. So I hope you guys like this one. If you did, go ahead and give me a thumbs up. If you're new to the channel, then go ahead and subscribe. If I ever mess up, or if there's something that you guys don't understand, leave it in the comment section below. You guys can be new, you can be old. Just make sure you bail me so I know it's real. But with that being said, you guys, I gotta get up out of here. So stay amazing, stay creative above all else, stay awesome. It's been popping up all over the place. I've seen American Eagle do it. I've seen Victoria's Secrets Pink do it. I've even seen Forever 21 do it. And just so many different other places. So you guys, I wanna show you guys how to make this in Illustrator. This is a very valuable tutorial. So if you guys like this, go ahead and give it a thumbs up. If you're new to the channel and I just won you over, please go ahead and subscribe.